This is the Coin It Podcast, sponsored by CoinCosmo.com. Does the size of a shoe affect the value of a shoe? Like, oh, big time. Really? Big time. Okay. So, oh, so like, what I, is the, how does that work? Like, what's the most desire, what's the most expensive size? What's the most desirable size? Like, That's a phenomenal question. And all my sneakerheads is going to laugh when I say this. Mm-hmm. Um, before the pandemic, before the pandemic, the best sizes, and we'll just talk about Jordans for now. Okay. Uh, the best sizes were the small sizes, sizes eight through nine and a half, because the market in China, crazy. China's the biggest, before the pandemic, China was the biggest uh, uh, market for, for reselling or, or, or buying shoes. So wow. they would send, Interesting. they would stores and, 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 and it's crazy because that's where a lot of the shoes are made. So I don't understand it, but they want yeah. the, the, the shoe that came from America, it was started in China or whatever, and then it comes to America and I guess gets the wow. Nike stamp, whatever they do, I don't understand it. They would send people to be buyers in LA and in Atlanta and in New York and in Chicago and all of the big markets to buy the shoes. So at that time, they were the biggest buyers. So between size eight and nine and a half from a men's perspective or seven and a half to, to nine and a half, those were worth the most. After the pandemic, during the pandemic, right, um, they stopped buying. They were not buying at the same rate. Mm -hmm. All of, you know, everyone's, you know, Chinese connect and Chinese buy. I mean, they would buy in bulk. I got pitches of Yeezys where we sold me and my team, my great team. um, We sold we sold 60 pairs. One release. We had 60 pairs of Yeezys and we sold them to one buyer. We wow. cashed out like we had to bring we had to bring the marker. We ended up buying a money machine after because we had we was getting so much cash. It was crazy. And, and that was our Chinese buyer. Right. During the pandemic, they stopped buying. Huh. So what happened was a transition. So the size went from eight to nine and a half. Now all the big sizes because they make yeah, they make less of the big sizes. So there's less of them. It was always that case. But yeah. now that the Chinese market is not buying as much. The value of the bigger sizes has trumped the small sizes. So now you ask a reseller, they're all going for the 13s, the 14s, the 12s, because sometimes a store will have 50 pairs and they only get one size 13. Mm. So that one obviously is worth more than the others. So that's what happens most of the time in like a Nike SB, um, the skateboard shoes, they don't even make really big sizes. So that's an exclusive size to have. You get a size 12, 13 and the SB, that's like, you know, that's like gold. That's like, you know, the the Holy Grail. You're like, oh my gosh, you got a 13 and that SB? Wow. Yeah, hold on huh. to that one. Um, so now the bigger sizes are worth more. Um, and uh, but again, for me, I always go for my size, you know. So I'm a size nine and a half, ten, um, you know, ten and a half, depending on the shoe. And then it's like again, if the value goes down or up, and if it's something I like, and if I can't resell it, if I, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. I'll just throw it on, I'll wear it. So, you know, if I buy size eight. So I'm stuck. What am I going to do? You know, mm-hmm. by 13, what am I going to do? I can't wear that. So, um, so that's just how the market is today. 